could like anime. Anime's mine! I've been watching anime since I was six. This ruins everything for me. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this one. Yeah, hello, and welcome back to Kinda Neat. A couple months ago, some TikTok Zoomer by the name of Addy Sonrai made a tweet that she had just downloaded Crunchyroll onto her phone, and the chaos that followed was one part hilarious and two parts terrifying. Anime fans seized their chance faster than Shinji did in that hospital, and began flooding her replies with insults as a distraction while they locked up the weeb gates. We'd be here all day if I showed you all the replies, so... Here are a few of my favorites. If she watches anime, I'm no longer gonna watch anime. People who watched one episode of Hunter x Hunter are now weebs. And of course, I wasn't bullied in high school for dressing up as Kakashi for no reason. And that last part can be found in just about every single tweet. Oh, not the dressing up as Kakashi bit, but the idea that they were bullied for watching anime and now feel ripped off that it's becoming mainstream. And you know what? They're kind of right. It isn't fair. I know firsthand just how cruel those little balls of hormones can be, and up until recently I kinda always hid that side of myself out of fear of what others might think, but here's where I think they've got it wrong. No one's actually bullied just for being into a specific hobby, unless of course it's LARPing, in which case you had it coming. Let us gingerly touch our tips. Kids bully kids because they're different. Obviously kids in Japan aren't bullied for watching anime, so clearly there's nothing inherently wrong with the medium. They'd be bullied whether they're into anime or reading or like... Beyblades? <laughs> I don't know, what are kids into these days? It just so happens that outside of Japan, anime tends to attract a certain kind of person like me who's oftentimes shy or anxious or just different from what society would consider to be normal. So although anime is the weapon they're using against you, it's not the reason for their attack. Yeah, it feels unfair, but the normalization of anime is actually a really good thing. And here's why. Just because you graduated high school and escaped from the cliques and bullies and god algebra doesn't mean those things cease to exist, no matter how many petitions I make. Which means there's still countless kids trapped in those little prison cells that they call portables who can now grow into fully fledged weebs without ever having to worry that their love of Chinese cartoons is what caused their torment. They'll know full well that it was because one of their nostrils is slightly bigger than the other one. Man, some of the shit kids make fun of each other for is so funny. Great, so we've solved world peace, and now every weeb can live happily ever after. But Quinn, what about the culture vultures? Good question. Weird dude sitting on a chair. I don't, I don't know what that character was supposed to be. I can see that there will be some people who see anime as the latest fad, and we'll just use that to get attention, but the key word here is fad, which means an intense shared enthusiasm for something, especially one that is short-lived. So if anyone here is a fake fan, it's that guy who bailed out at the first sign of danger. But newsflash, more people watching anime can only lead to more anime, so it's a win-win. And if you think this is bad, just wait until the Olympics actually happen. You won't even be able to get a checkup without your dentist threatening a root canal unless you admit that Nezco is best girl. <laughs> There's only one thing worse than gate peeping- gate peeping, that's also pretty bad. There's only one thing worse than gatekeeping people like Adidas Ray, and that's gatekeeping your fellow weeb. And to be completely honest, I'm somewhat guilty of this myself, but it's one thing to think someone has trash taste, and another thing to tell them that their opinion is useless and nothing they say is worth hearing. M what? Happened to a friend of mine. I'm not crying, you're crying. As far as I can tell, there are two main types of gatekeeping within the anime community. The age-old dub versus sub, and the also relatable, you're telling me you only watch shonen? <laughs> Cringe. But as far as sub versus dub goes, I actually think it's coming from a good place. If we could put aside all our superiority complexes and insecurities, I think there's a real conversation to be had about the difference in experience between watching subtitled anime and watching anime that's been dubbed into English. Because not everyone watches anime for the same reason. So although subtitles might be more in line with the artist's original intent, and the voice actors are given far more time, money, and direction for their performances, that might not matter to the viewers who just want to pay full attention to the artwork or have the show on in the background while they do other things. I think that most of the animosity between these two groups stems from the subbers just wanting everyone to experience anime in the same better way that they do, but those good intentions can quickly devolve into drivel, like this comment on my Ori Gairu video. Wow, why dub? Bro, anime is made by Japanese people, and if you're a fan of anime, watch sub because it was supposed to be Japanese. Imagine if they didn't broadcast it and only allowed it in Japan. 
then you guys wouldn't even be watching it. This guy seems to be under the impression that when anime is broadcast in Japan, there are subtitles, which I guess is a great segue into my next point. You know what's objectively better than watching anime subbed or dubbed? learning Japanese and watching it in the original format. And if anyone should be gatekeeping anime, it should be the actual Japanese people who we've all gone ahead and co-opted their culture to our own liking. It's like this morning when I was driving home from work. I was going about 20 over the speed limit. Oh, sorry, that's like 12 freedom units if you're a caveman. And as I was speeding down the highway, I got passed by some <coughs> with his learner's permit going like 40 over. Slow down, speed racer, I said as I shook my fist in disbelief at his or her sheer reckless behavior, but I quickly realized that what I was doing was no different. I just so happened to draw the line arbitrarily at whatever speed I was going in the given moment. Does this analogy make any sense? Speed Racer is the dub watcher, I'm a subtitles guy judging him, and then there are actual Japanese people driving the speed limit who are superior to both of us. So rather than fighting amongst ourselves, we need to band together and get those idiots driving in the passing lane off the roads for good. That has nothing to do with anime. I just can't stand slow drivers. So what about those who only like Naruto, Sword Art Online, and Boku no Pico? So let's cast our mind all the way back to the beginning of this video, when we talked about how common it is for weebs to be bullied for their hobbies. Hmm. Interesting. Sorry, just give me one second. I need to climb down off my high horse. In this particular category, I'm as guilty as anyone. It does kind of drive me crazy when people don't expand their horizons beyond shonen, because I can't help but put myself in their shoes and think if I never made the leap from Naruto to Slice of Life, how empty I'd feel inside. Though I guess I do feel empty after every finale, so it wouldn't make any difference. But like I said before, everyone watches anime for different reasons, and their tastes can be so different from each other, so it's really not my job to tell people what they should and shouldn't spend their time watching. The superiority really does just stem from me wanting everyone to see just how funny, emotional, and moving that anime can be, which ties back to the beginning of this video. Anime isn't a finite resource. It can't run out. So if like me, and you truly believe that there's something special about anime, then you should want to spread that message to as many people as possible, not just hide it away for only you to enjoy. Which I guess is part of the reason why I made this channel in the first place, to get everyone as excited about anime and Japanese culture as I am. God, I sound pretentious. I swear next week I'll make a video about waifus or something. But until then, make sure to click on this playlist to join me on an adventure across Japan in search of the real locations that your favorite anime are based on. And if there's only one thing you take away from this video, it should be that we should all work together to bully the LARPers. <laughs>